in the previous section we have learnt about undo management now let's learn about redo log file management redo log files help us in database recovery yes if a database failure occurs then using the contents from this redo log files you can recover the oracle database yes because they have the redo entries and if the database failure occurs using those entries you can redo all those transactions and bring the database to the stage where it was before the failure okay let's understand how the redo log is maintained okay let's take the same classic example of two rows in our customer table and let's see what is stored in the redo entries okay for an insert that means we are trying to insert a record into a customer table and for a redo entry if it has to redo what should it have it should have the values right so you see it saying c0 12 that means in column 0 it has to store 12 column 1 joe column 2 usa so a redo entry for an insert transaction is insert in the same way for an update redo entry is update you see the values being updated are jeff and ireland and it is storing those values and the redo for a delete is delete it is just storing saying that it has to delete a row which is present in slot 4 cool right like this uh, it stores the redo entries in the redo log files and if the database failure happens then it's very easy for the oracle database example it has lost the insert then what can oracle do it can simply go to this redo log entry using the values it can insert the values in the same way if this update is lost using this redo log entry it can update the table in the similar way if it lost this delete using this entry it can delete the entry from the customer table cool right yes now let's see when a redo is written we know this yeah the redo is written whenever a user process commits a transaction or when the redo log buffer is one third full or before the database writer writes the modified buffers to the disk or every three seconds yes in one of these scenarios the redo log entries are made in the redo log files okay so now uh, you are thinking uh, how many redo log files will be there so let's think uh, there is only one redo log file okay the log writer will take all the redo log entries and will store in the redo log file but what happens uh, if this log file is corrupted yes the database cannot write redo log entries into the redo log file and the database will not function yes the database will not function so the solution is maintaining multiple log files that's a easy solution right yes that's a easy solution you see here in the solution oracle said why don't you maintain the redo log files in groups okay in our example we have three groups group one group two group three okay and each group has multiple redo log files in this group we have two redo log files in this group two we have two redo log files in the group three we have two more redo log files don't think two is the default or you should have equal number of redo log files in each group okay each group can have its own number of redo log files okay that's good here we have multiple redo log files but why multiple groups that's a good question right yes we need multiple groups to support the archival log mode i'll explain about archival log in the next session okay for now we have three groups and what oracle database will do is it will write the redo log entries into the redo log files of group one and then once it reaches a certain threshold it will move to the group two and again when the size meets a certain threshold it moves to 
group 3 and again here when it meets a certain threshold in the size it moves again back to group 1 like this it will move from one group to other in a circular manner and you see here I mentioned disk 1 and disk 2 why it's always advisable to store the redo log files in a different disks the reason is even if disk 1 is corrupted you have the other redo log file in the disk 2 if you keep both the redo log files belonging to the group 1 in disk 1 and if it fails you lose both the redo log files and the oracle database will not function so it is always advisable to store redo log files within a same group in different disks okay remember this point and it is very important okay now let's learn about a little bit terminology on what are the different log files current log file this is the log file which is currently being used by Oracle database that means the process log writer which is related to the Oracle database is actively writing into this current log file okay active log files all the log files which are used for instance recovery are called as active log files these active log files cannot be overwritten by the log writer until the archival process archives them in the location mentioned obviously this happens only when the archive log mode is enabled and again archive log mode I'll explain in the next session okay inactive log files these files are the files which are no longer needed for instance recovery okay that means the Oracle database process log writer can override this inactive log files okay just remember the terminology and it will be useful